Hello everybody and welcome back to the Retro Recall. I hope you're doing awesome. Today we have the best of Microsoft Entertainment Pack. This particular uh, collection of games was um, the best of, which would have been the higher voted or the higher purchased at the time between the Entertainment Packs 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, they came out uh, over various years and ultimately this is the combination of all the different uh, most preferred, I guess, preferred um, games at the time. And this was released for Windows 3.1. Um, we have the Dell Optiflex uh, GX1 here running Windows 98 at the moment. Uh, however, this will just run just fine. Uh, Windows 98 does support this um, this software. In fact, I remember using uh, this uh, on a Windows 95 PC quite a bit growing up. And uh, so, yeah, so this, um, this particular uh, um, um, pack comes with your free cell, uh, your pipe dream, uh, I'm sure bringing it back lots of memories uh, by looking at this. Uh, Chips Challenge, I remember playing that quite a bit growing up. Uh, Tetris, and um, yeah, and Tepe, uh, Tut's Tomb, Rodent's Revenge, Tri Peaks, Golf, Ski Free, <laughs> I probably remember Ski Free, Jez Ball, Dr. Black, Jack, and uh, Tetravex. Now, I'm not going to be playing all these games today for sure. I'm going to probably play a couple of them, and uh, yeah, let's just uh, unbox this and see what's inside. All right, so inside we have the three and a half inch floppy disk with the actual application uh, to install the software, and we have a or it looks looks like a registration card so want the address of the most important person of microsoft who's that i think pretty sure they mean me and uh so do we you're the most important person port sorry the most important partner and when you send in your address we can help you with all these benefits the microsoft satisfaction guarantee microsoft product information via fax I better hook up my fax machine for that. Access to Microsoft technical support. Pretty confident they can help me out with this. Priority notification and special pricing of Microsoft products. Customer service when you need it. Information about Microsoft TechNet. It's pretty awesome. And my chance to win a free trip to Hawaii or Florida. Well, now I'm just going to have to register this and send that in. So what else do we have in the beautiful box here? We have the Best of Microsoft Entertainment Pack 1.2 megabyte disk offer. So this came with a 3.5 inch disk option, but if your computer, given the age of the software, if your computer didn't support, uh, didn't have a floppy disk of that nature, and you had a uh, five and a quarter inch floppy drive, uh, you could actually mail this in and request um, the discs for this uh, software as well. And I believe that this was a free, yeah, free coupon uh, you can send in for the, uh, for that application. So that's pretty good. Please allow two to four weeks. Um, <laughs> I do know people who have sent these in mixed reviews, of course, uh, but uh, I doubt very much that they are working. So the best of Microsoft entertainment pack for windows to install the software. I mean, essentially you put the disc in the drive and it says here, uh, for Windows uh, to install, it just asks you to start Windows normally uh, and set up disk uh, into drive A or B, depending on uh, how many floppies you had at the time. In this particular machine, we have uh, floppy A. And uh, yeah, to put in the, play in the game, just go to Program Manager. In this particular case, we have the Star Menu because of Windows 98 and choose the group and then choose the game you want to play. So uh, yeah, and then it tells you how to, if you need to learn the game, just press one on the keyboard, or in this case, you can go to file help as well. Uh, copyright 1990 to 1994. Yeah, so okay, let's go ahead and uh, install the software here. All right, so we have the, uh, the floppy disk here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the drive. And we're gonna go to the start button here and then go to run. And we're gonna go to setup, here we go. And you can hear the floppy drive accessing the disk, initializing setup. The best of Microsoft Entertainment Pack setup, initializing setup. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Okay, Microsoft Entertainment Pack. Welcome to the best of Microsoft Entertainment Pack for Windows. The setup program will set up the Entertainment Pack on your computer system. So we're gonna hit, of course, we're gonna hit continue. And this is a part of the Microsoft Home uh, family of products. If you remember getting computers from back in the day, 
they would come with a bunch of CDs, uh, free software and things like that uh, as part of the Microsoft uh, package that you got. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the default and hit continue. And here we go. Um, now you have a great time to fill out your registration card. Well, we better get right on that. When you send it in, Microsoft will inform you of product updates and provide you with the information about related Microsoft products. I think that's pretty awesome. I think we should definitely, uh, definitely do that. You can hear the uh, floppy drive clicking away there, accessing the drive. Installing all the uh, beautiful software that's on this uh, entertainment pack. Now, uh, growing up, I played uh, I played Tux Tomb um, quite a bit. I used I played Ski Free. Um, I remember doing that. Pipe Dream was definitely something. Uh, uh, Jazz Ball, I believe, as well um, was was also another one that we had played. And uh, yeah, it was pretty uh, pretty pretty cool to um, to play those uh, those games. I remember, uh, yeah, and, uh, Ski Free. Um, I mean, I was never very good at it, but for sure, but always found a reason or found a way to um, to not survive that. So uh, pretty good. All right, so we have Dr. Blackjack installing Rodent's Revenge. Um, I remember playing that quite a bit as well. Tips Challenge, I just loved playing. There's Jazz Ball right there, yeah, sure enough. Uh, Free Cell, wasn't very good at that at all. Uh, golf uh, Solitaire, so it's uh, when you have a card presented, you can go up or down depending on what's available. Pipe Dream, that was fun, challenging, fun. Ski Free, as I talked about as well. Uh, Tetravex, uh, we have Tetris and Taipei, Tri-Peaks. All right, setup succeeded. Some of the games in the entertainment pack require a sound card to take advantage of their sound playing capabilities. So not all the games came with sound. Uh, so, I mean, I'll, you know, we'll be playing a couple of the games here and not all will have sound. And make sure you have the associated sound drivers installed. So this computer does have sound capability, so we're good there. So go ahead and just hit OK on that. And we're gonna go ahead and let's choose, um, yeah, let's choose Jazz Ball first. Um, so, oh, you can hear the, <laughs> so the the purpose of this game or the uh, the you know the goal of this game is to clear a certain amount of area of the um, of the screen of the of the uh, where the balls can't go so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that now so you can with the right mouse button you can click back and forth on it so see how it changes the direction of the ball so i can either vertical and draw a line or i can go horizontal so in this particular case oh i did it okay awesome so i mean Oh, there we go. The intention here is to get, I believe it's 80%. Oh no, 79. There we go. Okay, so it's fine. So hit next level. Goodness, we got three. <laughs> uh, and it gets more complicated, I imagine, as we go along here. Um, I remember um, a game called Kicks, Q -U or sorry, Q, Q I X, I believe it was for the uh, oh, Nintendo. Oh, I did it. 75. So I did it for the, uh, uh, sorry, the Game Boy. And uh, I remember playing that quite a bit. Some, very similar to this. It draws a line in case it, it's, uh, in case it does chase you. Uh, across. Let's see if I can separate some of those uh, balls there. Uh, it gets a little easier when you narrow them away. Uh, oh. I don't know how many. Oh, it's got live, two lives left. I'm getting there. 59%. 67%. Oh. Oh, 74%. All right. All right, let's go ahead and close it off. I just love uh, these little games. Okay. No, we don't want to start a new game. We're good. Okay. Um, let's do, uh, yeah, let's do uh, Pipe Dream. So Pipe Dream is from Microsoft Windows from 1991. So, I mean, as soon as I start here, so you start on the bottom here, it shows you the next piece, and then you keep on going. The idea is to build out as much as you can um, of the uh, of the pieces that you have left until it's finished. And so as soon as I click on this, it's going to start. Oh, no, I lied. It, it, uh, it did it right away. So it gave me a few seconds to start and it died. So let's go ahead and just do that again. Uh, I lied. I lied to everybody. OK, let's click on that. As you can see, it's showing me the next uh, one. And if I click on it again, I can destroy it to another one that I want. And so the next one's pointing down. And then so you kind of kind of look ahead um, for the next piece and, and see what, uh, see what's next and, uh, try to plan your route accordingly. Um, and I'm not very, oh, well, I'm seems to be going okay here. I, oh, that's not what I want. And so you only have so long before they, uh, 
big evil green monster coming along here. <laughs> uh, get you. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, no. No. Okay. Well, I just put myself in a corner, but uh, that's uh, totally fine. And let's see. Oh, geez. It's terrible. It's only a game, right? It's only a game. Here we go. Okay. We're over here. Go ahead and cancel that one. Cancel that one. So you, yeah. So you got to click on. Oh, so okay. So if you look, it'll go straight and come back through here, through here. Now, obviously, once you get to that certain point, um, it, it won't let me go any further now. Um, but yeah. So just uh, that's the idea of the game there. And then as it goes, so you go through, and it, and the longer it goes, the higher your score goes. And of course, that uh, that's that. So let's go ahead and close. Uh, well, well, I mean, we'll uh, just let it finish off here. But uh, but yeah. Hey, new high score! Woohoo! That's me. All right, click for next level. So I, I did. Uh, I did win that one. Okay. So go ahead and next there. So let's go ahead and uh, open up Tetris uh, next. Uh, good old Microsoft Tetris. <laughs> My claim to fame on Tetris was uh, using the uh, Game Boy or Nintendo. <laughs> Never uh, played it much on the computer, but uh, it was part of the best, best of Microsoft Entertainment Pack. I don't know which one specifically, but it, it came with this uh, this uh, combination one. So we're gonna go ahead and file or sorry, game new, and we're gonna start. And let's see if I can figure out the controls here. So up is change your Direction, okay, and down. All right, there we go. Down is up. I was much better at this game when uh, I used a uh, used a control pad or a game pad or something. Uh, not very much for. Um, oh, uh, that's gonna really mess me up. Not very much for the keyboard, as you can tell. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was uh, definitely uh, definitely a fun game to play back in the day. Um, all right, let's go here. And uh, yeah, look at me with two lines. Uh, nothing can stop me now. I'm just, uh, you know, nobody can, nobody can beat me in this game. Amazing. All right, let's go here. <laughs> oh, I broke my original uh, hole through there. Oh, and I just complicated life more. All right, that's Tetris. So everybody knows Tetris, but again, it was part of the uh, entertainment pack. It was, it was awesome. All right. Let's uh, take you down memory road. Uh, another game that I used to love playing quite a bit is uh, Chips Challenge. Uh, just loved playing this game growing up. And uh, yeah, let's see if I can see if I can adjust the resolution here so we can see this a little better. Let's go 640 by 480 to see if it gives a little bit of a view, a better view. Oh yeah, so that's yeah, even 800 by 600 would be better for the for viewing the screen here. And um, all right, let's go ahead into Chips Challenge. Here we are. So the, uh, yeah, so lesson three, let's go ahead and do a new game. Uh, yes, okay, lesson one, here we go. And it gives you a password, so if you do end up not <laughs> succeeding, that you can go ahead and uh, do it again. All right, so as soon as I do it, hint, collect chips to get past the chip socket. All right, so there's the chip. So it tells you uh, the chips left to get is 10. I'm gonna pick up some keys as I go. Uh, just love playing this game. Obviously, the keys, uh, color keys, open up the uh, corresponding uh, locks as well. Um, just love playing this game and seeing all the different puzzles you can play. And uh, um, ultimately, let's see it's so yellow. All right, I got the green key now. And you can see the green key down below. So as I open them, green key is still good. Yeah. Okay. And there we go. Chips left to zero. Let's go through the portal. And uh, wowzer, first try, naturally. All right, so lesson two. Um, here we are. So I'm gonna go here now. I see he this, I imagine I gotta put them on the water and I believe you gotta walk on them yet to make them um, solid. So let's put that across, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna get away from these guys. So only two chips. And so I'm looking like that they're following a pattern. Yeah, okay, so not chasing me, okay. So level complete, first try. Lesson three. All right. Um, so I imagine flippers are walking on water. Or is it? Oh, no. Okay. Water. Yeah. And then this <laughs> this is the skate is for ice. All right. So I can swim now and I can walk on ice. And now apparently I can walk on probably fire. Yeah. So I click on fire or walk on the fire. And then so let's see here. I'm going to go here first. Oh, now I can walk on this. Oh yeah, through the roller skate. Okay, all right. So that way it doesn't send me right through. I imagine if you didn't have this, you would just be uh, sent in the direction it sent you. So I have zero chips left, and here we go. First try. I'm a pro, naturally. 
All right, what's uh, going on here? And this just, all right, this changes the direction of the door. <laughs> okay. And there we are. Let's change the direction of the door again. Seven chips left. And we'll do the same thing here. And I gotta get this one. And that one there as well. Okay, that looks, oh, let's go open that, that door. Uh, let's go on down here. Five chips left. I don't, I don't think I need to move any of these. Oh, don't step in the fire without boots. <laughs> All right. So uh, that's uh, Chip's challenge. So um, just wanted to show everybody just a little quick uh, video on the Best of Microsoft Entertainment Pack. Love these games, just mindless games I used to play back in the day. Um, on my Windows 3.1 machine, Windows 95 machine. Always had great, uh, great memories with this uh, entertainment pack, uh, friends' houses, etc. So, uh, so yeah. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. We just passed uh, 100 subscribers. I posted a video about that. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and also, I hit the subscribe button above, the little bell, just to uh, get notified when I have new content out and all that good stuff. So, um, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it today and uh, stay tuned for the weekend. There's another video coming out. And uh, again, uh, have a great day. Uh, take care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.